Well, that was interesting. Alright, let's get into it. So, I have very, very minimally played this game, and I'm going to explain my long absence usage of face cam and uh, what the hell's going on from now on while I play a game that will likely infuriate me for reasons that I don't know. So, let's get into it. So yeah, I've been gone. That is because uh, I am moving. Uh, me and my family are moving from an apartment, and because of that, it uh, kind of takes a lot of time and effort, and because of that, I haven't been able to record. <clears throat> And so, here we are. Uh, no videos for a while, because uh, that took a lot more precedence, because, you know, uh, we got a house, which is really cool, and it's great because I've got children, and it uh, definitely makes it more feasible, because children in, a, in an apartment is really difficult, because children don't care if your downstairs neighbors hate There's you because no they're loud. more intense than starting over. I disagree. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute, if you won some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red but it came up black, if you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it, if you won an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view, starting over is harder than starting up. I disagree. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. Homie, do you know my life? Please. So, uh, yeah, long absence, moving into a house, which I know it's hilarious uh, saying that immediately after, like, do you know my life? But uh, those those people that are very close right. to me for coming with do me know trip. I'll understand <laughs> the level of bullshittery that occurs to stop and quit the game don't Woo! worry i'll save your progress always even your mistakes you'll save my mistakes too how kind of you but yeah no the uh so long absence because of uh what's it called the house stuff and because school and because a billion other things but i've also decided uh, I think this channel is going to get a little weird for a little while until I kind of find my my own stuff, because, like, I like playing video games, I do, but it's not the only thing I like. And so I would like to share some of my more, not eclectic, because I don't think it's weird to, like, collect knives and stuff, but... This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. Called the Sexy author of that Hiking, game was huh? Jazzor a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B-Games. Mm -hmm. And B-Games are rough assemblages yes. of found objects. Designers slap them yeah, together would very stop quickly talking. and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. Oh, okay. Anyways. In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is Jesus Christ, let me talk, dude. For B -game. What? It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts. And it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. Much In like it, myself. Your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. That's literally that act of climbing what In the digital world or in hiking real life, is, is climbing yourself up sometimes with a hammer. No so, amount of I don't forward really know. progress is guaranteed. Some I don't know. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly in danger of falling and losing everything. <clears throat> Okay. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, but a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. Have you ever played Dark Souls? In that lack of compromise. Like... Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. So yeah, anyways. Back to discussion of content and things like that. 
Um, I don't have a recording schedule or anything like that because, frankly, I'm still working on the house. Um, we're putting in 80-hour weeks trying to, well, not 80-hour weeks on the house, but I work 40 hours and then I work 40 hours on the house during the week. Um, doesn't leave much time for, you know, video games or my kids, and frankly, my kids take precedent over video games and recording, so. Uh, I will find time as things go on, but for now, uh, content will be pretty sparse, because I need to figure out, I need to sort our house out, um, because it basically needs, not everything, but <clears throat> there's still a lot going on that it needs, and as such, I need to focus on that. But, I figure it'd be nice to probably give you guys an update and kind of let you know what I've been doing. Which is, yeah, mostly just trimming trees and stuff like that. And As I said, I kind of want to share some of my... I don't want to say skills, but I do want to share some of my skills with uh, everybody. So, um, there might be some stuff that pops up. Um, for those of you that don't know, I actually am... I wouldn't say an avid knife collector, but... I've got a... Small collection that I like. And that I, uh, I pay attention to the knife world, and so. The obstacles in sexy hiking are unyielding, yeah. and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. Mm -hmm. The frustration is just essential mm -hmm. to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. So yeah, the, um... I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. I mean, imaginary mountains that build is. themselves from our efforts to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. Anyways, <clears throat> so yeah, I do like you're building collecting a video game world. So, you're building with ideas. Like, and that can be like this a cement. Limited edition buck into a certain shape 110 played with. And in the press 45 VN they begin to harden carbon and fiber until they're immutable. I know rock. it's not and at that point you can't change them. It's different. Not without much like into seeing my face, but yeah, new ideas. you know, these are things that I enjoy. They're, they're things that I I like having with me and Yeah, I kind of want to share that with everybody, but it's probably not going to be the main source of content unless it just blows up for some reason, but there's definitely some, you know, interesting things. Like, I've got the uh, Buck Paradigm, which is an interesting little piece because it is a bolster lock, which is unique as heck, in my opinion. Because I think the only other bolster lock I'm aware of, there was one way back um, from Benchmade, I want to say? Um, there was one way back from Benchmade, and that was pretty cool, but, you know back then and now are different times, and it was also an automatic. Uh, so where I live, automatic knives aren't legal, so it doesn't matter if I want it or not, can't have it, because I don't really like breaking laws all that much. Not my favorite thing in the world to do. I got nothing against cops, I just, if we're not just like gonna go hang out and talk, I don't really want to be involved with them, especially when it's a legal process. It's uh, not really my jam. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Anywho, continuing on with this malarkey, the uh, general kind of idea is um, I might update you guys, everyone, well, you guys, but I probably know everybody that subscribed to my channel when at the time of this recording. Um, but yeah, the uh, as things progress, I might uh, update kind of randomly what uh, what's going on. So, kind of pay attention to that and understand that content's probably going to be kind of weird. Because, uh, as I, like I said, just try to figure out what the heck I want to kind of show. That was cool. <coughs> so yeah, like my knives. I'd love to go over my knives and kind of talk about the intricacies and stuff like that. It'd be fun. And then... Things like, uh, so I don't know how many people know this, but, uh, I know 
I'm pretty decent at it. Um, I can trim trees, and so we've got a couple of decently large trees outside of our house. And, uh, yeah, climbing them and stuff like that, and, and trimming is something that's really fun and interesting and a giant pain in the ass. I don't know if you've anyone that, that watches has ever done it, but it is not easy in any sense of the word. Um, it's just a very You've done this difficult before. process. You know it's possible. Just do what you did the first Because time. the, uh, you know, you pull yourself up, um, and everything like that, and it, uh, yeah, it gets really hard. This game is interesting. The, the physics and everything are very interesting on it, and a little wobbly, I'd say, but not unbearable by any means. So, yeah, the, uh, Definitely just trying to figure out what the heck to do. And like I said, just trying to let you guys know I didn't die. I didn't disappear from the face of the earth. I just stopped recording because I had to figure some stuff out. Like a house and it was my birthday and we went to Nebraska, which was really cool. I like we've got family out in Nebraska. That was nice to see them. Cause I like my family. What's over here? Can I just, like, catapult from here? Let's go there. Hmm, that didn't work anything like I expected it to. That did. It's kind of... I don't have enough room on my desk to... Mostly because it's messy because I'm still packing. So just so we're, like, the timeline is understood. Um, I have four? Three or four days to get this apartment, like, fully ready for a closing inspection. Uh, and we've got, like, maybe 50% of our stuff packed. So, <laughs> it's, uh, it's not close. I'm recording this when I probably should be packing, but in my brilliance, I, uh, kind of got myself into a rough spot because I, in sanding the roofs, because we removed the popcorn ceiling. Um, you know, I, you safety equipment can only do so much. So if you just put yourself in, like, the worst position possible, there ain't really much safety equipment can do for you. So I inhaled a metric butt-ton of dust. And, uh... <clears throat> yeah, it's uh, definitely... Definitely feeling like a uh, sinus infection and or ear infection. And it sucks. But, get through it. This is a really interesting portion that I'm having a lot of difficulty with. Hmm. Well, that was a good. That was a good flick. But yeah. So, oh, uh, the other thing it was really kind of hilarious to me as we're listening to him talk about like, oh, starting over is so difficult and things like that. Uh, yeah, I lost my one of my Borderlands files. Uh, specifically the one that I'd spent, oh, I don't know, 35, 40 hours on? So, that sucked. I had to restart my computer. And by restart, I mean fully delete it and bring it back to life, because, you know, computers, they just do that sometimes. Decide that they don't want a computer anymore, and then they show me the blue screen of death, which I promptly ignore. And in doing so, the computer gets mad at me. So it's like, why won't you respect the fact that I... Oh, hey, we're farther than normal. Oh, hey, I'm in a rough spot. Okay. Okay, that worked really well. How did I do that, though? <coughs> the, uh... But yeah. Went way farther than normal. Wait, wait, went way farther. Lost. Jeez, my brain. So yeah, I don't feel great right now. I know things are kind of, ooh, because my brain is all kinds of not great. But it's not the end of the world by any means. I'm honestly convinced at this point that the game kind of just adds little extra flicks. Which is really, it'd be an interesting concept because like, it would make the game really freaking difficult. 
Like, I've played harder games, but... It, uh... It would make it really, really annoying if it, like, just added random flicks. Come on. Pull, pull, pull. There you go. Come on. There you go, bud. There you go. Now we just reach up here. Pull. 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 Anchor. Nope, didn't work. How did I do it that last time? I think I just kind of... I wonder how long this is going to take me to actually get to the top. I've seen the top. Like, I've seen people play this game before. And so, it's really, uh... <coughs> I don't know all the tricks or anything, but I know it's distinctly possible. Mm -hmm. oh, there we go. Interesting. I want to anchor on that. Hmm. Okay. So I think it's a combination of like a a lift and a pull, if that makes sense. So like. So like, um, what it was is like, That's a deep it grabs, and you kind of have to pull and snap up. So it's like a, it's like a, it's a down, and then an in and an up. It's really, it's kind of an intricate motion. So, let's see if we get it. I might fast forward through a lot of this and just like, do some, like, secondary commentary, because, uh, I don't know how long it's gonna take me. Because, uh... Oh. Yeah, there's more frustrating things in life than this game. So, I don't know. Oh, that was a good little rhythm. Yeah. Oh, nope. That flung us back. Good catch. So you get into a rhythm in this game and then you, uh, catches you off guard. Because you can't keep the same rhythm all the time unless you know the rhythm of the entire thing. Hmm. Okay. How did I do that before? I think I jumped the inner... I think I jumped the inner one. And so... I'll have to try that again. I don't know if that's gonna get, like, copyrighted or something. I'm terrible I sing. If you try to copyright my singing, like... You'll, you'll copyright anything at that point, because... Let's be real. <coughs> If you can identify that song from that short hum, you're amazing. Because... Yeah. I can't sing. Nor do I ever try or claim to, so... Nice and easy. But yeah, um... I don't know how if I'm going to start, like, doing videos like, uh... Tr like mm. trimming trees and stuff like that. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. Um, I'm also practicing a whole lot of golf. Uh, my wife actually really, really awesomely got me a... Uh, what's it called? A hitting net for Father's Day. And that was really cool. I really appreciated it. And as such, I have been using it, and I put a 5-iron through it already, <laughs> so I have to be a little careful. Can't, uh, I can't really try to smash anything, because uh, I mean, if a 5-iron goes through it, a driver will. So, I can't really get after it very hard, but, you know, it's still practice, which is good. I can practice, uh, contact and things like that. So, it it's really awesome, and I appreciate the hell out of it. But, it would be fun to uh, kind of do something 
I'd really like to go crazy with golf, but we'll see how that goes. Kids and stuff, you know. Gotta drop a lot of weight, too. I don't know how I could look on the camera, but, uh, my... I wouldn't say I'm, like, too bad, but I want to be more fit. Okay, so there's a bit of, like... Yeah, I got it. It's like recoil. So when you hit something like that, you kind of recoil off of it. Like, like the sh the shaft of the sledgehammer has um, flex, and when you flex it, it's got a rebound on something, and so it it drastically alters the force that you're putting on things because <clears throat> you are changing a lot about the interaction between objects. That's really cool. So yeah, it's a pull and then a... Oh, so it's an interesting little movement. It's really difficult for me. So... Because it's not... it's This, for me at least, it's not a game I can do visually. Like, I can't look at the little circle and be like, yes, just move it here quickly. Because um, it just doesn't make sense in my brain. So, it's... a lot of times I'm not really even looking at it, I'm just trying to figure out what movement I'm trying to do and feel it on the mouse. So, if that makes any sense at all, it probably doesn't, but yeah. Uh, I like golf. I'd like to play golf. My wife got me hitting that, and I want to smack more golf balls. It'd be really cool and crazy to go pro. But, I doubt that's in the cards personally, uh, for several reasons. Not the least of which is my attention span. Which is like that of a uh, infant, sometimes. So. Oh, that was a cool one. Let's try that again. Let's go up. Okay, that worked. Let me go up. Whee! Oh, I hugged under that rock. Why is the guy in the pot running? Like, stop, dude. I, mean, I guess this is, would be a lot of effort. Also, how how big is this dude? Because, like, that's not a very big pot. Like, I'm not judging, especially considering he's got the arm strength to pull himself up a mountain in a cauldron, presumably with water, via only a sludge, sledgehammer. Sledgehammer, come on, Brad. So I'm like, you know, I'm not really in a place to judge... But that's kind of crazy. Not like bad crazy, just like what's a I don't I don't even know. Like it's it's just such a such a bizarre thing to think about how much strength that you would need to lift yourself one time like this in a cauldron filled with water with just your arms. That'd be fun to figure out. I'd have to try something that stupid in real life. Okay. We're here. We're here. That one. Oh, okay. Hold on. Gotta make more space. Gotta be a little snappier. I think. That didn't work. Oh. Come on. Come on. Alright. We're good. So then we're just gonna... Whoop. There we go. Hey! We're here. Get on the lamp. Alright, now we're just gonna let ourselves down. And do a little hop. Hmm. That is sheer. Which is... No... Bueno. So we're gonna just slow... Slowly set ourselves down. You know what? This game should be prescribed for... Uh... 
people who are, who are thinking about having kids, this should be a requirement to play this game. Because the only reason I'm not screaming in frustration well, is because everything this game has thrown at me, my kids have done worse. made out of prefabricated objects, bought in a store, and assembled into a world. And for the most part, that hasn't happened. Because the objects in the stores are trash. I don't mean they look bad or that they're badly made, although a lot of them are. I mean they're trash in the way that food becomes mm. trash as soon as you put it in the sink. Things are made to be consumed and used in a certain context. And once the moment is gone, they transform into garbage. In the context of technology, Why is this game those so moments deep? pass by in seconds. Really? I mean, it's not wrong. It's not a nice concept, but it's not wrong. The technology is an exponential growth pattern because anytime technology gets involved, things become inherently like more efficient, and that in itself is not a problem. The problem that arises when you know things become so efficient that you can't keep up with different aspects of them, like generating the raw materials and things like that, or the manpower, or hell, you know getting the consumers to consume you know because that's that's its own difficulty you know you Over can't time we've poured more and more refuse into this vast digital <sighs> world that we call the internet and there's only so much numbers that can be the things that are you know, consumed and untainted and unused mm. when everything so, around us is cultural trash trash becomes the new medium the lingua franca of the digital age and you could build culture out of trash You're talking about but only trash culture <laughs> b games B movies, B music, B philosophy. Nah, gotta have a. I don't know. I wouldn't say a winning mindset always, but I think I think as long as you're making forward progress, you're doing good. You know, you gotta you gotta make forward progress, even even in days where you don't feel like it. You just gotta just chip away. You know, it's not it's not that crazy to like. Try to figure out, you know, if you can move and act like a shovel full a day to move a mountain. Like, you get there eventually. And people kind of ignore that fact. They're like, well, I want to move everything at once. So it's like, eh, yeah, but sometimes you can't. Like with this game. This is probably, I think, the second time I've ever played it. I lost my save file. Or else you guys would have seen me in the first, or everyone would have saw me the first time I played it. But, you know, I've been just been chunking away at the last, at this for the last, I don't know how long. Uh, what's it been? 30 minutes? Yeah, it's just, you know, little progress. I make little progress, I, little better muscle movements. See? And we just make progress. The vertical wall here has a way of getting it harder the more times you try it. I think anger makes you swing the hammer harder and that can push you away from the wall. See? Yeah. That is a very good point, you know? You, you get erratic in your movements and all of a sudden it uh, gets harder. It's that one right there, so I need to shorten up that... I need to shorten up that second or third jump depending on where I catch. So if I catch here and catch here, then I can shorten up that third jump and then I'll be able to uh, hopefully grab that little concrete patch under the fuse box looking deal. Alright, so here just do a little short jump. Need a short jump. A little too short. Let's try that again. Hmm. See, that was too. That was good height, but then I swung it under. Uh, but yeah, this is this is actually kind of a really fun game, even though it's. I think it's supposed to be really frustrating, but I'm enjoying it. I have no idea how long it is though. I think there's an ice part. That's uh. Like one of the last parts I saw that was like an ice part. So you slow down. You slow down. You pull myself up here. 
let's, let's just chill for a minute. Can I reach up there? No, I can't. Okay. Now I know. Oh, that's cool. Can I grab this cinder block? Okay, so I think the other thing is like... Oh, you can catch on that little piece. Okay. But I don't know if you can stay. Okay. There we go. There's that. Let's, oh, I tapped it. Cool. There's that. It's a little bit of rebound that sometimes gets me. There we go. What if I can sit on this? Boop. Boop. So those little railings kind of jacked me up. I, uh, not gonna lie. Okay, so now we can go here. We can lower ourselves down like we did before. Not quite. Close though. That's so you pull, catch, fling. Didn't catch there. Okay. Pull, catch, fling, catch. Pull. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Gentle. Sit. Grab. Fling! Catch. Catch. There you go, bud. Thank you. So I can sit here. I think I gotta go up there. Set down here. You're gonna gently reach over. Boop. Okay. And now we go this way. Oh, okay. Maybe this is what digital culture is. A monstrous okay. mountain of trash, the ash heap of creativity. So yeah, kind family. of go that way. A landfill with everything we ever thought of in it. Grand, infinite, and unsorted. I mean, yeah, that is kind of the internet. It's literally, like, if you really think about it, everything is in the internet. Everything. There's 3D models of breakfast, Gen X's fanfic novels, Scan magazines, green screen Shia LaBeouf, banned snuff scenes on Live League, Facebook's got lifelike bots with unbranded adverts and candid shots of Kanye and Taylor Swift mashups, car crash epic failed GIFs, Russian dashcam vids, discussions of McRibs, discarded, forgotten, Unrecycled, muddled, rotten, untitled. Okay, what's up there? Everything's fresh for about six seconds, until some newer thing beckons, and we hit refresh. Mm -hmm. And there's years of persevering, disappearing into the pile, out of style, out of sight. So what's over here? I'm both here. In this context, it's tempting to make friendly content that's gentle, that lets you churn through it, but not earn it. Why make something demanding if it just gets piled up in the landfill, filed in with the bland things? Okay, so there's more over here. Hey, you know, there's a lot to be said about that, but it's not everything, you know. There's a lot to, uh... There's a lot to it that, you know, people are really... People can be really amazing at what they do. Like, uh, you know, I like Borderlands 3, and I, I, I really do. I like the whole Borderlands series, personally. No. But, uh, you know, I, I'm like, there's a, there was a gentleman, I think his name was Yotslea. Um, he was big when Borderlands 2 was big, and he passed away due th to an unfortunate accident. Unfortunately, of his own making, but that's not really, I don't think it's appropriate to speak ill of the, uh, deceased, so I'll leave it at that. But, you know, it's... There's there's a lot of people with a lot of information out there about games and stuff, and even if it feels like it's not, uh... I don't know, not exceptional content or something like that, or it's too easy, like, 
there are people out there that are absolutely Oof. amazing Sorry about that. at what they do, and they've like, Mike, they've reviewed it at like a microscopic level. Like, look at speedrunners. Speedrunners are amazing, even though they're playing what could be considered easy content, like Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> I mean, I I don't really, I don't know. People, do people still play Super Mario Brothers? My son does, but that's because I make him. You know, I'm pretty sure if I fall off of that right there, it's going to take me literally to the beginning. So, let's try not to do that. It took me a long time to figure out how to get up that lantern section. So. I might make this into two videos just to keep them a little shorter, but... Yeah, it's been fun. I really... I'm liking this game a lot more than I thought it was going to. Oh, it happened again. Okay. Keep on trying. Don't let it get to you. It hasn't. Oh. Not yet, at least. I'm not some saint. Like, this will start to piss me off eventually, but... Although, I, I think that's a really bad moniker, because, like... I'm pretty sure saints can get pissed off, too. Like, most biblical things have a very, very angry side to them if you really tick them off. So. Hmm. Let's not do that. Whoop. Whee. This part right here is really annoying to me. I don't really know how to navigate that. If I if I just huck myself at it, I tend to bounce off it, you know. But if I come close and fling myself. I usually hit the doghouse or something. Or like the wheel of the, uh... Wheel barrel. And it... Flings me. There we go. Let's go up here. Thank you. Can I... How far can I reach? I can grab the tire. I don't like the tire. There we go. There we go. Alright, back to here. Now, if I remember correctly, the deal was when we get across the boxes, down here, there's just a little section to grab. So you just gotta hug this and. Yeah. This thing that we call failure is not the falling down, but the staying down. Mary Pickford. I mean, yeah, it's correct. You don't fail until you stop trying. This is so much fun right now. I've spent so much time working and programming and like, there's definitely some enjoyment that comes from those things. There is. You know, I, I, I do really like my job. It's really interesting to uh, make the things that I make and like try to figure out ways to break our systems and things like that because I'm doing testing and that's really fun and cool and everything like that but you know you can only do that for so long before hey, you need a break so this has been quite enjoyable to me so far hmm this looks daunting yep no. hmm okay they're playing the song. Get in there still, uh, boy. Mm -hmm. 
I wonder if that's a copyrighted song. I appreciate if they stopped. Okay. That's a pretty big setback. Not the end of the world, though. It's, uh, it's I will say this, though. It probably, it's really nice to get kind of a perspective. Like, we were really, really tight up there. And, like, there was so much little jumps that you needed to make that, uh, it's kind of nice being back down here. Because it's like, oh yeah, you just make these little jumps. And they've got a lot more tolerance for uh, mistake down here. See? Remember how hard that was like 25 minutes ago? Cornbread and cheese sounds good. I, who's treating you to cornbread and cheese? Can you, can you send it my way? I'll take some cornbread and cheese. Sounds like a good time to me. At this point... <clears throat> so, I should probably talk about what I'm actually trying to do here. Um, I actually am trying to... work on... Kind of handling frustration. Because. It really. You know, there's a lot of life that can frustrate the hell out of you. And so. You know, taking the time to kind of learn. Put yourself into that is really important, I think. And it's. It sucks. There's no two ways about that, but. It's, I think it's important to kind of subject yourself to it because you don't really know how you're going to react until you experience it. And so, if you want to react a certain way, like for me, I want to react to frustrations calmly. I, I, this is the tone that I want to maintain even if I'm exceptionally frustrated. So, to do that, Gotta practice. And, uh, yeah. So that's part of what I'm doing here, is just practicing. Practicing handling my frustrations. And so... It was, uh... Yeah, that, that fall was really difficult. I, I... That was a lot of progress. But... It's really cool to kind of see how far I've progressed already, because, you know, this, this, well, this part's still, oh, a giant pain in the butt, but, you know, it, this, getting here was a lot easier than it was just a couple minutes ago, so... Go there, and then we go shoop, shoop. Hmm, that didn't work. I think the most interesting part was that little, uh, like, skyline hop. So in the part where you were, you were hanging underneath, and it was just the hammer, I think that was the most interesting part to me so far. God, I want to try to beat this game in one go. But I don't know if I'm going to have time, because I do... So, me and my wife have a uh, system that works great for us, uh, for who gets up with the kids the next morning. Uh, and tomorrow is my day. And so, I need to get some good rest because it is exceptionally difficult to work with a ornery four-year-old and ornery two-year-old uh, if you don't sleep, or at least don't sleep well, you know. 
it makes the whole process harder. It really does. Mm. Hmm. I gotta figure out what I'm doing. It's like... Every once in a while that jump really works out well. But I can't figure mm. out if it's like an inner... Like if I rotate this way first. Or if I rotate to the right first. set down on the light post I can. So then we can lift ourselves up here. Set ourselves down. Okay, that didn't work. Can we set ourselves down here? Yes we can. And then we jump. We're caught there. We're caught there. I don't wanna spring load too high. So we can notch here, we can lower ourselves down, jump, catch, hey look at that, we're back here. And remember, we do this, and we can get onto that uh, shelf looking thing, then we can set ourselves down and just reach up. There we go, see, and then we go whoop, we got a little too excited, so let's set ourselves down again. And then go up here and whoop! Mm. Mm, that didn't go like last time. Mm. Oh. All right, so what happened whoop. is... I think I just didn't go out enough. Whoop. Yeah, mm. this, this part's probably my favorite part right here. Mm. Like, being incredibly serious right now. It's, it's actually really interesting. Um, but yeah, I uh, want to bring more to the channel. I've got some other stuff, like I said, that I want to play with. Um, <clears throat> like I... Uh, <laughs> I definitely made an ice carousel almost two years ago now. Or almost a year ago. And uh, I definitely wanted this, that to work a lot better than it did. Soul would have no rainbow had the eyes no But uh, we still, John you know, it's really interesting because uh, we definitely made a. I don't even remember. It was like twelve or fifteen feet. No, it was bigger than that. I think it was sixty. It was huge. But we had uh, three outboard motors on it. The pain I feel now is spin. the happiness I had. And that was amazing. That's the deal. C.S. Lewis. I wonder what it's like to not have setbacks. Because, <laughs> like... I don't know. Like, Could you imagine if just everything worked out for you? That would suck. How would you learn anything? I don't know. Maybe I'm a masochist and I just don't know it. Probably not. If I was a masochist, I'd have broken more than the 70 bones I've broken. I think. I don't know. Anywho. But yeah, I, uh... If there's anything you guys want to, like, hear more about, like, please make sure you comment and tell me, because, uh... I have some skills, but reading minds is not one of them. <coughs> And, um, it'd be pretty dense. To put, to put it lightly. I can be pretty dense. And so, uh... If you got stuff you want to see, especially, like, if you hear me talking about, like, something that I have done personally, like, uh... What, what was one I... Tree trimming and things like that. Like... I'm perfectly open to trying to figure out how to, like, share that with y'all. Because that's actually something really fun for me. I, I really enjoy tree trimming. It's very difficult, like I said, but... It really is. It's a lot of fun. Um, and it kind of... I, I realized this much later in life, but... You know, when you're up in a tree like that... You, you gotta trust your equipment literally with your life, you know. Um, I think the tallest one I ever done there's a tree called a 
Washingtonia Robusta in California. Mm. It's a Mexican fan palm is the common name. And they grow huge, like 100 plus feet typically. <clears throat> and so I climbed a 70 footer and they're technically a grass, I think. And so they're not very like, you know, when you think tree, you're not thinking about a palm tree typically um, with their really thin, their very narrow um, trunks. You know, you're usually thinking like the old oak tree with like the three foot diameter trunk and stuff is what most people think of. And uh, definitely, definitely not that. It was about six, eight inches at the like 70 foot mark. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, a uh, six or eight inch tree at 70 feet uh, gets very, very wiggly in a light breeze. <laughs> so you end up doing these like eight foot circles while you're trying to trim this stupid thing. And it's hilarious because, uh, you know, like typ typically when you're trimming, you've got two or three lines to connect you to the tree because uh, falling out of trees sucks as anyone that has ever fallen out of a tree will tell you especially from any type of height like oh I don't know anything beyond about 15 feet really starts to suck and so uh, you get to that point where it's like oh I've got a couple of straps like and nothing else if this thing just gives I'm falling, like, 50, 60 feet at least. <laughs> and so, you end up in these weird spots where it's like, I just, you know, I'm just gonna do my thing. I'm gonna stick into the tree, and I'm gonna hang out, and kinda see what happens, because otherwise, I don't know. I feel within me a peace Whee! above all earthly dignities, a still and quiet conscience. William Shakespeare. Okay. Okay, like... Yeah. Anyways. Um, but yeah, it's like, you know, it's... There's... It doesn't fill you with confidence, because, like, with a, with a more normal tree, like, you can tie in, and, like, if you're the branch you're on falls, like, you're fine, because another branch will catch you. Uh, on a palm tree, you just fall. You just, you know exactly what's gonna happen. You're gonna fall down, and uh, that's gonna be a big boom. That's about it. Oh, you cannot now believe that so you it's will like, ever feel better. But this yeah, is not true. It's like that, right You're there. You're sure to be happy again, and knowing and this, truly believing yeah, it, will make you end up in this kind of Abraham Lincoln. interesting spots, where it's like, hey, you just gotta trust that, you know. I'm not gonna die today. <laughs> it's really, it's really odd. Like, I can't explain it, but I'd encourage people to try it because it's it's an experience and it's an exercise. Like, and not in futility. It, it is truly an exercise <clears throat> in just really difficult stuff. Because. <clears throat> Yeah, just, like I said, it's... I think it's interesting. Hmm. Why does it keep playing the music? Like, I'm about to shut this off, the music off, if it keeps playing. Ooh, uh, actually, speaking of music, there's a uh, band called Nefix that I listen to. And forgive me if I'm mispronouncing your name. But, uh, yeah, there's a band called Nefix that I listen to. And they just started up something called Copyright Free Music Wednesdays. And they're making new music. And I dig it. Because, like, not all their stuff is, uh... Appropriate? But... It's all pretty interesting. I, I like a lot of it. Like, just talking about... Kind of personal effort. A lot of it is. Not all of it. Some of it's about, you know, women. 
and their attractiveness. Which is something also I can appreciate, but... You know, it, uh, good stuff. Very, it's, it's an interesting mix, too. It's like, uh, it almost feels like metal rap. Which is kind of an interesting pairing. Although it's not as weird as I think some people would have you believe. It really isn't. Like, it's, uh, metal and rap really do go well together. Like, that's the, if I could listen to two types of music for the rest of my life, it would probably be metal and rap. Because, I don't know, I just feel like I'd have all my bases covered. Like, you know, you'd have some days where you're just gonna listen to Wage War all day, and then you have some days where you're gonna, like, get some, like, Ice Cube or some, you know, Netflix or some, something else, whatever, whatever you feel like, but I just feel like you can really cover all your bases. Yeah, I really haven't been enjoying music lately. Like, the new music is not... Well, not all of them. Like, like I said, Netflix is doing some good stuff, and then there's a gentleman named Leo Morcelli, I want to say? He does a lot of, like, uh... I don't know what to call him. He redoes... He redoes, like, uh... other types of music in a metal genre. So, like, he read WAP, of all things. Uh, and for those of you that don't know what WAP is, uh, don't look it up. Because, uh, I don't know. It's, uh, to say that it's not my favorite is accurate. But the metal version is amazing, I think. Hmm. I feel like I'm really out of sync right now. It's weird. So, let's grab here. Like, I just, I don't know, the movements start, are like, really feeling erratic. There we go. Like, I didn't move like that. That was weird. So let's bury this here. And whoop. There we go. At least the music stopped. I haven't been reading much either, which stinks. I really wish. I oh, I guess I kind of have. I've uh, I've read quite a bit, but I want to read more. Yes, Killian. Yes, the audience can hear you. Oh. Okay, so we grabbed on that. That's good. So let's easy, please. We hit that. Killian, hold on, please, bud. Killian. Not helping things. Dude, I should have my kids bother me while I'm playing this game. That'd be hilarious. It'd also drive me insane. Do not stand at my grave and cry. I am not there. I think that's the furthest I've gone die. down. Mary no, 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 I fell down to the bottom that one time, I remember. Mm. Right when I got to the, uh, what was that? Where was that? I got across the stairs, and then I got to the... What's it called? Where was I? 
I don't remember. It was pretty high up, though. Anyways. Yeah, the, uh... Just a lot going on right now in this game. And in my life. But yeah, I think it'd be interesting to kind of, like, have my kids bug me when I was playing this game. It'd be fun. Not that this game isn't challenging enough as it is, but, you know. In the spirit of things. This is actually kind of fun. Like, trying to bounce back and forth between the red beam and the rock. Let's try to sit down right here. Yeah, might build an RC car track as well at the new house. Uh, my son loves RC cars. My dad loves RC cars. I have fun with RC cars. Um, I might do some programming stuff. Because I have some kind of weird ideas I want to try. And documenting them on video would be fun. You know, get the learning process going. I don't know, it's, it's, sometimes it's better to teach to try to learn something. So, grab a couple books. I've got some Minecraft programming I want to do. Um, which I understand for some people is sacrilege. But, you know, I'm going to do me. So, yeah, the, uh, so I've got some, like, Minecrafting, Minecraft programming mm -hmm. books that I want to use to make a, I might, I might make a modded server. Um, I also, my little brother and sister want to play on their modded server. So I might do that, because it's fun. I do enjoy playing Minecraft still. I haven't played it in a while, though. It's just one of those games I kind of... So I, I remember playing it on... I got it for Xbox 360 first. Um, we built a massive, massive thing. I don't think I've actually ever beaten the game either, now that I think about it. There's a lot of games I haven't beat. Gotta get some follow-through. <laughs> As seen in my Doom playthrough that didn't get past the second mission. Yeah, the uh I don't think I've like I don't think I've ever beaten the Ender Dragon or the Wither. I've beaten a Guardian, but that was kinda of by mistake. Um I didn't know what it was, so I just went after it. Because, you know America or something. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. What should we do? Attack it. It's like maybe not. You know? Not is an option. <laughs> Oh, I don't know who cares about this, but uh, I found something really cool. Uh, there's a company called Fulton. They make beer, typically. Uh, but they make a non-alcoholic beer called Hop Water. And it is really freaking good. Like, and just around the same page, like, it's not like non-alcoholic beer... Which, you know, is really good, but it's half a percent, I think, is the tolerance. And so, like, as long as it's got half a percent of alcohol in it, it is considered non-alcoholic. But this is literally, like, hops and carbonated water. And so it is zero. Zero alcohol. Um... But it's still got kind of got like that. It's, it's almost like a pale ale um, in flavor, but it's a lot lighter and a lot more like refreshing. Speaking of, I'll have a sip of this. Yeah, this stuff is really good too. This Brooklyn special effect is really good. Very, very tasty. Um, it is a non-alcoholic beer, so technically still beer, if only barely, but it's really good. I had a good rhythm there. Oh well. 
I guess I never really talked about that either. Um, I went um, kind of not super non-alcoholic, but I have uh, drastically lowered my intake of alcoholic beverages. Um, short of a couple of special occasions. Um, I've had maybe six drinks in the past 90 days. To so. live is to suffer. To survive is to find some last, meaning in the suffering. I don't know. Friedrich Nietzsche. In the last probably month, I haven't. I don't think I've had a drink of alcohol that's not non-alcoholic. Just feel better, you know. It. Uh, it's not some like really interesting reason. I just didn't want to be a grumpy asshole. Life is a mosaic so. of pleasure and pain. Grief is an interval between two moments of joy. Peace I mean, is the interlude between two wars. You have no rose without a thorn. The diligent picker will avoid the pricks and gather the flower. Satya Sai Baba. Sai Baba, that's a cool name. It's almost like a hop now. There you go. <laughs> what was that little last? <laughs> right at the end. That was cute. Dude's probably got abs of steel now that I think about it. Let's see what else? There's a. Uh... Oh, that wasn't the right way to do that. Go here and then go boop. Uh, I watched a show recently called Taboo, and that was really good. I liked it a lot. Um, it, uh, I like Tom Hardy. I like a lot of his stuff. It's an interesting show. I'll leave it at that. Uh, if you are sensitive to the current climate and the certain usages of words that should not be used in the manner that they sometimes are, i.e. extremely racistly, uh, and that, like, really lights you off, uh, maybe don't watch it, because it is set in, like, the 1800s in Britain, and uh, people of a different skin color than what they consider is normal were not treated well. So... I don't really know how to navigate the, that particular climate nowadays. I mean, aside from just not saying those words, which isn't a big deal, but like... I just never really know how sensitive to be with it. Like, is it nitroglycerin levels of, like, not safe? Or is it, like, gunpowder? Because one of those, like, you, know, you can store it, it's not really that big a deal. You know, you just kind of go about your day and don't worry about it unless there's a fire. And one of those, you shit your pants if you breathe on it too hard. So, <laughs> I just need to know which side of that I, I need to be on. Whee! Oh, didn't quite make it. Darn it. Whee! Sorrow is my mm. own yard, where the new grass flames as it has flamed often before, but not with the cold fire that closes round me this year. Interesting. William Carlos Williams. William Carlos Williams. Wait, what? That dude's name was William Williams? That's unfortunate. Says the guy with three first names. Ready? Oh shit. Got the rake? No. Let's calm down on the rake. Ready to go down and go up? We go. Catch the slide. Catch the slide. 
catch the ball. More money. But yeah, I kind of want to play some of the old games too, like uh, like Galaga and uh, Super Mario Brothers and stuff like that. <clears throat> Might be fun to play on the channel. I don't know if I can though. Like, is that. Does Nintendo get super touchy about that kind of stuff? Like, are they gonna get mad at me? Can send me a cease and desist from playing their games? Stop it, we're mad at you. Okay. Join the party. Me and the only ones. When games were new, they wanted a lot from hmm. you. Daunting you, taunting you, resetting, delaying you. Players played stoically. Now everyone's turned off by that. They want to burn oh. through it quickly. A quick fix for the fickle. Some tricks for the clicks of the feckless. But it's that's not you. Stuff. You're an acrobat. You could swallow a baseball bat. I could not. And I would not. In a cat. Tried to go Dr. Seuss there for a minute and didn't work. Okay, so I can launch myself pretty far. I would not, could not. Okay, so I've got the height for that. I just need to get the angle right. So if I grab here, and I go, whoop. Oh, you're going know, this way. There you go. Yeah, whoop. Hmm, I wonder if I can knock up there. Mm -mm. Okay, so I hit my head there. So I, I think I gotta go for the camera. But, I just don't know... how to get this angle right yet. Yet is the operative word. We have not given up. I don't know if anyone's going to find this as funny as I do, but the idea of someone playing this game without getting frustrated is uh, mm. kind of interesting to me. Oh. Now I know. Most likely you're watching this on YouTube or Twitch, while some dude with 10 million views does it for you. Like a baby bird being fed chewed up food. That's culture too. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure I'm sitting here playing, my guy. But on the off chance that you're playing this, what I'm saying is, trash is disposable, but maybe it doesn't have to be approachable. What's the feeling like? Are you stressed? I guess you don't hate it if you got this far, feeling frustrated. It's underrated. Not at all, this could have been a fun game. I like the scenery too. And the commentary. Some of it. I could do without the songs. An orange is sweet, juicy fruit locked inside a bitter peel. That's not how I feel about a challenge. I only want the bitterness. It's coffee. It's grapefruit. It's licorice. What's bitter about licorice? Have I been eating something that's not licorice my entire life? Like. Licorice to me has always been kind of. Sweet. You know, it's and mm. yeah, licorice is a sweet thing. Like, All right, now we're gonna chill on the rake, lower ourselves. Ooh, Ooh you know what? Also, is, is really good music. Uh, if you haven't got a chance to listen to it or aren't as weird as me, um, there's something called electro swing. And so it's like old school, uh, like swing music, but with electronic, uh, <clears throat> what's it called? I don't know, just parts. They make it sound electronic. I think it sounds really good personally. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna beat this tonight. I'm gonna try though. Oh man.
<clears throat> oh yeah, that's the way to get that one. Uh, what if I just like... I think if I scooch a little closer. Just like right... Here. And then I'm gonna... Oh yeah, oh, yeah that's totally it. Alright. I might try to like edit this video to make it cool and pretty or something. Mostly because I've never done it before, but you know, gotta learn. All sad words of tongue or pen, the saddest of these. It might have been. John Greenleaf Whittier. Oh man. I think I'm gonna probably fast forward through a lot of these parts. Just because they're so, you know, repetitive. I don't think anyone's just like watching this to try to see me freak out. If you try to please My. audiences, uncritically accepting their tastes, it can only mean that you have no respect for them. Andre Tarkovsky. That's an interesting point. Oh well, though. The uh, general idea here, though, is that, yeah, I'm gonna try to come back, and I'm going to, hopefully, be able to kind of have more, not leeway to play and stuff like that, but like, there shouldn't be, like, there's going to be interruptions. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Ice tea. But hopefully they're fewer and further between, because... I will have a place to record, and I won't have to worry about sound as much, like, my sound, because in an apartment, you know, you gotta worry about, like I said, pissing off your neighbors. You gotta worry about that. Well, I mean, you don't have to. When to the sessions but. of sweet silent thought, I summon up remembrance of things past, I sigh the lack of many a thing I saw, and with old woes new, wail my dear time's waste. Mm. William Shakespeare, Sonnet 30. It's just practice, you know? Mm. Killy Billy. What's up, bud? Patience mm. is the foundation of eternal peace. Make anger your enemy. Harm comes to those who know only victory and do not know defeat. Find I mean. fault with yourself and not with others. It's in falling short of your own goals that you'll surpass those who exceed theirs. That is true. Tokugawa Ieyasu. There's a lot to that, you know. But on we go. Slow down. See, I think the thing is, I get excited, like obviously because playing a game, so it's meant to be at least somewhat exciting. And so when I do that, sometimes I, my movements get really erratic. If that happens, I tend to make mistakes. If I'm messing you up, you can mute me in the settings. I might. You are kind of annoying. Ooh. There it is. And then with this one, 
remember we just come a little bit closer here and grab here fling ourselves up Whoop. Mm. Take it. Wee. So, mm. hmm, I don't recall pushing that hard. Yeah, it's, it, see, like that. Like I didn't push all that hard, and yet, mm. you know. Mm. He's uh. Really getting after it. <sighs> Come in, scrape yourself up. There you go, bud. We're gonna go. Alright, so now we're on there. Okay, that was our first. Okay, so I think I'm starting to understand. Which means I'm probably not, but that's okay. Gotta learn, right? See, like, what was that move? I touched the rock barely, and it just kinda... Mm, physics don't apply here. Send it. I'm gonna set myself on the rock. Here, push. Catch. Hmm, that didn't work as expected. Yeah, but, you know, when has it? <coughs> See, it's those little erratic movements that... Really, uh... Make this game difficult. Because it's not... I mean, obviously it's not perfect. Because it's a game, but where I'm moving my mouse and cursor and stuff are not in alignment with what's being shown, which is the problem. Should go this, yeah, go this way. Should be able to reach up just a smidge. Here. Jump. Yeah, see, we're back here. That went a lot faster. Hmm. Hmm. I think I got a really good rhythm down on that. Okay. Oh yeah, I can just... No, I got to be on this side. We just drop ourselves right there. Whoop. Every once in a while it does stuff like that. I just... I don't get it, but... No. Let's try something else. A little too high. Uh, there's like a little inward movement I make sometimes. That's that's what's knocking me off. Yeah, it's that. It's it's this. It's a sweep. So do I need to make more of a? Okay. I think I feel it. So it's more of a straight down pull. Instead of a, instead of a like a slashed pole. Hmm. I haven't, haven't hit that one in a little while. Yeah, there it is. It's a uh, 
So, I mean, this will make sense if you've played the game. Or if you're a weirdo like me, but... Where you move the mouse matters a lot, of course. But how you move the mouse also matters a lot more than I expected. Like that. I that in my mind that shouldn't have worked. And so it's like with this it's a push out and then a snap across to uh, get that swing going. And oh wow. Alright, so, full extension, to the side I want to go, move. Full extension, to the side I want to go, move. Full extension, move. Full extension, move. Mm. Mm. Once in a while though, it just like... It's like the inputs are really not doing well sometimes. Slip that through there. Shoop. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Whoop. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's, uh, it's how I'm actually, like, act, I don't even know how to explain it, it's so weird. It, uh, she smiled in defeat, so, eyes. a lot of times what I'm doing is I'm, if this is up, so I'm pulling, I'm pulling, uh, down and left really hard, but it needs to be more of a down left. To get some of them like heights that I need. Hmm. Have I been playing this game for over an hour? Yes, I have. Almost an hour and a half. It's almost eleven. Well, I think I'm gonna call it here. I'm gonna get up to the. Uh, I'll probably get up to the area with the lanterns again. And if I can get through that, you know, within a couple tries, I'll uh, maybe try to get up to the staircase again. Or not the staircase, but the uh, building. I don't know when this is going to come out either, so just so for posterity's sake, uh, I'm recording this on July 26th, I'm going to say. Yeah, I'm gonna double check real quick. Yeah, it's the 26th. So I'm hoping to kind of get this out before August, just to kind of, like I said, let everyone know what the heck happened. So like right here I go up oh, grab. Oh. And just yeah. Kinda keep you guys updated because I, I do like I do like the YouTube thing. Um I do wish it brought in like an income, but I think everyone does. But that's not really the point of it. The point of it's mostly just to kinda create content and share my ideas with the world which is I don't know how I feel about that but I think everything everybody should study stoicism if we're going to talk about ideals um, yeah that's about it really <laughs> not because it's like uber manly or anything just because it's I think it's a really useful and interesting way to think and so as such 
I like it. Okay. There it goes. See? That's the ones I like, is the big sweeping ones. Not those little ones. Those little ones. Oh, come on. Pull it out. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Failure here is a metaphor. Want to learn for what? All right. Please resume climbing. Bye, Bye guys. Down. I'll see you later.